Hey guys, I have a package here that I have not unboxed in like forever. It's just been sitting in here. Um, this is from a friend who's also on YouTube. Um, but uh, she lives here in Michigan with me. And uh, she was going to be getting married here soon. So congratulations, Alex, if you're watching this. And um, yeah, so I am going to unbox. This is just a kind of a lot of a few things that she had. Um, I purchased this, oh gosh, a few months ago. So, I mean, I trust her like 100% on packing and everything. So I wasn't concerned by anything by any means in here. So, I mean, you can just tell with the packing job that she has here everything is immaculate so I didn't have to worry but I think I'm gonna have to get a knife for some of this stuff to cut the tape I'll be right back okay everyone I'm back um sorry if the quality of this video is not the greatest um on my other channel I vlog and if you guys have not um seen my vlogs my camera is actually um, getting fixed right now after a wedding I took pictures for. Um, when I bought the camera, I had issues with the flash. Like, it wouldn't pop up right away, and I didn't know if that was just me. It was a new camera. I didn't really know. But I never really used the flash, so I never really needed to um, use it because I used it for video. And uh, then when I did the pictures for the wedding, I quickly realized that um, the flash is actually faulty on it and it did not work. But I have a warranty on it, so no big deal. We'll just have to wait for it to get back. They said two to four weeks, so it's going to be a while. So I have to film with my cell phone. I mean, Steven made me a little tripod thing for my phone. But I'm just working in my collection room because we're going to be getting our drywalling done here soon. And I don't really want to get my tripod out right now. So hold on guys, sorry. I feel really bad for the x ray quality right now. Trust me, I really do. <laughs> just pretend this is like my first video I've ever made. Then you guys probably wouldn't look down on me. <laughs> She, she bubble wraps this stuff pretty good. This is how long it's taking me to get one item out. But I wish I could remember what all of these are to and stuff, so I don't remember. But this is a RPG toy. You push the button, it turns around. She has reviews all on her channel of all this stuff, I'm sure. So um, I don't even think batteries are in this. I'm not sure if this one is one that was broken or not. If I can ever, yeah. Yep, there's no batteries in here, so. Yeah, it looks like it's had some corroding issues in the past. I'm sure it wasn't from her. I'm sure it was from her, the previous owner. But, um, there's the first wand all out. Now I'll move on to the next one. Okay, the next item here. It, this is another um, wand. That's my mother. What, Mom? The chocolate? What are you talking about, Mom? I know I'm filming. I'm pretty sure that this is a Shugo Chara um, wand, but I only have the one clip, the one colored clip up here. I believe there was like three colors. Um, I think she took all the batteries out of here, so. Um, yeah. But there's item number two. More RPG toys to add to my collection. 
Okay, here's the next item, but I think I'm actually going to put the camera down this time and get it all out of the wrapping and then I'll show you. Okay, here is this one, and I think this is another Shugo Chara wand. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, it's been like a few months since I actually purchased this package, so yeah. No batteries in this one either. It zooms in usually when you hit record, so. The next item is going to be this one here. Oops, <clears throat> now let's cut the paper. My mom's filming now, so it's helping me out with this. This isn't an RPG toy, but it was something that came in a lot. She was selling the last of her stuff for a really good deal. I think it was like everything was a hundred bucks in this I or in this lot here. So the way she packed and how big the packaging, I'm sure the shipping was extru extremely expensive too. So, anyways, this is a teddy bear that I'm not sure what show is from. I think it was Cutie Honey. I think I'm not 100% sure that she's complete in the box. Yeah. Moving on to the next one. Open up this small one. This looks like a, another RPG toy. This one was a cutie honey one too. I don't even know. So bad at this stuff. I thought this opened. Maybe it doesn't. No bad. Oh, geez, what kind of batteries are those? Oh, there it goes. It opens up with a mirror, so. Another one. It might seem. Yeah, who knows. I think this is a card capture Sakura doll. I probably already have this one. But again, it came in the lot. She has been very well played with her. Her knees are all scuffed up. But she looks complete. Her hair bows look like they're going to fall out soon. Her little hat. And then this is her doll stand. I think it goes like that. So, yeah, on to the next item. Lux the next one. You'll never find a better packing job than this. Wish everybody packed like this. Magical Do Re Mi. Never really heard of this one, but it's super, super cute. Witchling Maribel Haywood. This looks like an... Uh, American toy, so and these other ones in the collection, and then there's a got a little wand. It's kind of like Sailor Moon, but in their own. Looks exactly like the same clasp and everything. The Sailor Moon locket head. You're gonna make me do editing. I don't know what this one's from either. But it's another doll. Official sticker. Bandai. So. I feel like I have a couple things from that already. Well, I mean, it looks like we have one more item. And this one looks very old. 
Oh, yeah, this one's old. So this is a Baya, I believe is how you say it, doll. And you can see how old it is. Dolls like this that are made out of these materials now are most likely at the dollar store, but... It's very old. That's not English. I can't read it, so... Yeah, that's everything that I got in this box, so... I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!